All right, we'll do a quick update video here. Good morning, folks in the pipe community. Um, if you'll remember, starting back at the beginning of May, I started an experiment um, where I took approximately an ounce of Peter Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake, uh, placed it into a mason jar, and it's been in my car baking in the spring, summer sun. Um, We've had 70s, 80s, and 90s. I try to keep it on my dash during the day to where the sun can heat it up even beyond uh, the temperature. So uh, it's been a kind of a mild summer, but I'm sure we've had over in the car over 100 degrees. Um, so this is kind of a midway point. Uh, two and a half months in, we've got two and a half more months, and then um, October 1st I'll be done with the experiment. But this is a midway point somebody recommended doing, a midway point, uh, looking at it, maybe smoking it. So let's do it. Um, here is uh, a jar, a small amount of uh, Navy Flake. Um, this is the batch that I used to start the experiment. So this is stuff I've had in my cellar in the house um, in a controlled environment. Um, and so you can see it. it looks uh, like what you'd expect. I might as well have a piece here so you can see it a little bit better. So this is uh, non-experiment, okay? Now here's the jar uh, that's been in my car for two and a half months. Uh, it's got condensation on it. Uh, it warms up during the day, cools down at night. If you have a few cool days, the condensation goes away. Um, there's a definite uh, different smell. Uh, and I wish I had them all laid out flat like I do uh, in there, but I guess I just didn't. Um, but there's a significant smell difference. Um, this smells, wow, just like really fermenty. Um, chocolatey um, but almost like a chocolate fermented fruit almost malty um, like a malt shake almost like a powdered malt malty kind of shake and then this just tastes kind of like your normal bright uh, grassy hay uh, notes um, and then here's a piece uh, side by side. So you have the uh, controlled group, and then you have uh, the stuff that has been warmed up, and you can see the, the darkening. Uh, there's a difference um, in color. Um, not huge, but you can definitely see it, but you can definitely smell it um, in the jars. And you can really see the difference in uh, uh, color, coloring. Much darker. Pop out of the way. Uh, it's much darker. I mean, it's a little bit easier to see in person. But no mold. Uh, so, I don't know, like I said, exactly what I expected besides maybe a stoving effect. Um, these are um, old, old belt, uh, flu cured, I believe it is. Uh, the Virginias uh, make up this blend along with some Perique. Um, so I'm gonna smoke this now. I'll try to do a short video on it. Um, but I don't know, I've been smoking London Fog lately. My London Fog blend uh, from Simon in London. Uh, mine's more of a 75% Navy Flake and 25% uh, Virginia Woods just because um, never was much for Virginia Woods, but it adds just a little bit of something, a little more depth than just smoking this, but this is my favorite. So anyway, we'll put that back, uh, we'll break this apart, smoke it in my trusty um, Peterson Shamrock Made in Ireland pipe, uh, Canadian, it's one of my most smoked pipes uh, when it comes to this flake. Alright, so there's an update, uh, keep it short, see you guys.